December 28, 2014 from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts was the Buffalo Bills at the New England Patriots in this AFC East Division rivalry matchup on the final week of the season. The Bills would get the ball first and they would start with it on their own 20 after the opening kickoff. They're then faced with a second and seven from the 23. Kyle Orton hits Smith for an 18-yard reception, a first down at the 41. Then on second and four from the Buffalo 47, Orton went to the rookie Sammy Watkins. He picked up 43 yards and a first down in the red zone at the New England 10-yard line. Then on second and goal from the six, Orton went to Robert Woods for the six-yard touchdown pass as the Bills put the first points on the scoreboard with the score Buffalo 7, New England 0. So now the Patriots will get the ball for the first time in this game. They'd have it on their own 20 after the kickoff but they would end up going three and out and punting from the 29. So now Buffalo would get the ball after the punt with a little less than 11 minutes still left in the first. They had it on their own 22. They were able to bring it out to midfield, but after five plays, they would end up punting from the New England 49. So now the Patriots would get the ball on their own 14 after the punt with about eight and a half minutes still left in the first quarter. Brady then went to Tim's. He picked up 18 yards in the first down at the 32. Then on third and fourth from the 38, Brady hit LaFell for a 27-yard pass in the first down in Buffalo territory at the 35. Then on third and eight from the 33, Brady went back to Tim's, this time for a nine-yard reception in the first down at the 24. And on second and eight from the 22, LeGarrette Blunt picked up five yards and an unnecessary roughness penalty against the Bills would make it first and goal on the eight-yard line. They weren't able to get it into the end zone, and on fourth and goal from the six, out would come Steven Goskowski to attempt a 24-yard field goal. It was up. It was good as the Patriots put their first points on the scoreboard with the score now Buffalo 7, New England 3. So now the Bills would take over on their own 20 after the kickoff with about three minutes still left in the first quarter. They were faced with a third and one from the 29, and Fred Jackson picked up two yards in the first down at the 31. Then on second and three from the 38, Kyle Orton hit Dixon for an eight-yard reception and a first down that brought the first quarter to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was Buffalo 7, New England 3. So now to open up the second quarter, the Bills had the ball on their own 46. It was first down, and Kyle Orton hit Robert Woods for a 20-yard reception and a first down in New England territory at the 34. Then on second and two from the 26, Sammy Watkins picked up five on an end around. It was now first down on the ball to, or on the 21 of New England for Buffalo. They were then faced with a third and goal from the one, and Dixon punched it in from a yard out. And so the Buffalo Bills scored their second touchdown of the game with the score now Buffalo 14, New England 3. So the Patriots would take over on their own 20 with about 10 and a half left before halftime after the kickoff, but they would end up going three and out and punting from the 16. It's actually lost yards on the possession. So now the Bills would take over near midfield at their own 48 with about nine and a half minutes left before halftime. They had second and eight from the 50. Kyle Orton dropped back out of the shotgun, and he was sacked by Collins, who forced the fumble and recovered it for the Patriots. So now the Patriots would take over after the fumble on the Buffalo 44 with 8.5 on the clock in the second quarter. They ended up being faced with a 4th and 1 from the 35. They elected to go for it. And Tom Brady hit Shane Vereen. He picked up 9 yards in the first down that brought the ball to the 26. They wouldn't be able to get another first down though on the possession. And now would come Steven Goskowski to attempt a 44-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And it was now an eight-point game with the score Buffalo 14, New England 6. So now the Bills would take over on the New England 47 after a 49-yard return on the kickoff from Thigpen. They were then faced with a third and four from the New England 41. Orton hit Fred Jackson. He picked up four in the first down at the 37. But then a few plays later, they would have to settle for a field goal from the 30. As Dan Carpenter would come out to attempt a 48-yard field goal, it was up, it was good. And it was now Buffalo 17, New England 6. So now the Patriots would get the ball with about two minutes left before halftime. They had it on their own 20 after the kickoff. They were faced with a third and one from the 29, and Brady ended up picking up two yards in the first down to bring the ball to the 31. But then a holding penalty would move them back. And then a couple plays later, the first half came to a close. 
So after two quarters of play, the score was Buffalo 17, New England 6. So now to open up the second half, the Patriots would get the ball first. They had it on their own 20 after the kickoff. Garoppolo is in there now for the Patriots under center. And on second and five, he was sacked by Wynn. And so the Patriots would go three and out on their first possession and no punting from their own 22. So now the Bills would take over on their own 31 after the punt. And on third and seven from the 34, Orton dropped back and he was sacked by Ayers. And so Buffalo would go three and out on their first possession of the second half as well as they would end up punting from their own 28. They actually lost yards on the first possession. So now the Patriots get, would get the ball for the second time in the second half. They had it on their own 16 after the punt. And they would bring the ball to midfield and all the way into the red zone. They were faced with a fourth and one from the Buffalo 13. They elected to go for it. They tried to get it with Garoppolo, but he ended up losing a yard. So the Patriots would turn the ball over on downs. So now the Bills would take over after the turnover on downs on their own 14-yard lines with less than six minutes left in the third quarter. But they would end up punting after six plays from their own 30. So now the Patriots would take over on the Buffalo 44 after the punt with three minutes still left in the third. And they would end up getting a first down when Garoppolo hit LaFell for a 20-yard reception that made a first down on the 24. They wouldn't get another first down after that. Now it would come Steven Gostkowski to attempt a 35-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And the score was now Buffalo 17, New England 9. So now after the kickoff, the Bills would have the ball on their own 21. Jackson ran for six yards and brought the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was Buffalo 17, New England 9. Now to open up the fourth quarter, the Bills had the ball on their own 27. It was second and four. Jackson picked up seven and a first down at the 34. And they did get another first down, but after seven plays, they would end up punting from the New England 43. So now the Patriots would take over with 11 minutes left in the fourth quarter. They had the ball on their own 17. And they would get the ball into Buffalo territory. But then a penalty on third and 26 from the 46. Well, first... On 2nd 11 from the 31, Garoppolo was sacked by Lawson and win. And then a holding penalty on the next play would make it 3rd and 36 from the New England 44. So they're back to their own territory. They would get a 15-yard reception from Garoppolo to right, but out would come the punting unit to punt from the Buffalo 41 after 10 plays on the possession. So now Buffalo would take over with less than 5 minutes left in regulation with an 8-point lead. They had the ball on their own 11. They would end up punting after eight plays from their own 41. So they got some first downs, but they punted from the 41 after eight plays. And now the Patriots would take over down by eight with the ball on their own 25 after the punt with less than two minutes left here in the fourth. They're then faced with a third and two from the 33 and an incomplete pass brought up fourth down. They elected to go for it. And another incomplete pass would turn the ball over on downs. And so now all that was left to do for the Bills was for Kyle Orton to take two knees as the Buffalo Bills end up beating the Patriots in the final week of the season with the final score of Buffalo 17, New England 9. So on this season, the Bills with the win are 9-7. and seven. They're 4-4 four and four on the road. The Patriots get their first loss in Foxborough in 2014. They're 12-4 on the season, 7-1 and one at home. Of course, the Patriots are already the number one seed. They didn't really actually have anything to play for. Part of why they rested uh, a lot of their starters, and even you had uh, Garoppolo in there for the second half. But in this game, Kyle Orton was 16 for 23 at 176 passing yards and a touchdown. Tom Brady was 8 for 16 for 80 yards passing in the first half. And in the second half, Jimmy Garoppolo was 10 for 17 with 90 yards passing. So Garoppolo actually had more pass yards than Brady. Garoppolo also had 16 rushing yards off of four carries. Brady had nine rushing yards off of two carries. And the leading rusher in the game was LeGarrette Blount of the Patriots. He had 10 carries for 62 yards. And for the Bills, Fred Jackson had 18 carries for 58 yards on the ground. He also had one reception for four yards as well. And the leading receiver was Brandon LaFell of the Patriots. He had four receptions for 70 yards. 
and leading receiver for Buffalo was the rookie Sammy Watkins with three receptions for 57 yards. Robert Woods had four receptions for 39 yards and a touchdown. And on defense, the game's leading tackler was actually a tie. Ron Brooks of the Bills had nine tackles. And Casilla for New England had nine tackles as well. The Bills combined for four sacks in this game. Wynn had one and a half, Lawson had a half sack. And Mario Williams and Charles each had a sack as well. The Patriots had two sacks. Collins and Ayers each had sacks for the Pats. So a low-scoring defensive battle, and the Buffalo Bills are victorious with a final score, Buffalo 17, New England 9.